Well, welcome back, everyone. We're joined with Bonnie Keys from Mulberry Lane Farm. And as you can tell, we're talking about fall decorating today, aren't we, Bonnie? We are. So where should people start, especially if they have no clue how to decorate their front porch, the inside of their home? Where should they look for inspiration? Well, if you're like myself, <laughs> if I didn't have Farmer Cindy on the farm, I think I'd be hurting. So I need that inspiration. Okay. So look throughout your house. A uh, favorite scarf, a favorite napkin, uh, a picture that has fall colors. For me, I'm going to use my scarf that I received as a gift. Very cute. I love the colors. It's the more muted colors. And since we have a rust-colored mum, I thought this would be a perfect combination. Love so them. you can even incorporate this into your display. That's so cute. And then pull the colors from your uh, sample here. Okay. And you're, you encourage people just kind of like to dig around the house for items, right? You don't have to go out and buy a lot of stuff, spend a lot of money, right? Exactly. Actually, fall decorating is fast approaching Christmas decorating. Yeah. There's a lot of money spent, but go throughout your house. Go in through your garage, your yeah. attic, your kitchen. Your kitchen. If, if you have a placemat that you want to incorporate, your flowers, and then just start placing stuff that you find in your house, out and about, uh, a ball jar with flicker candles in it, you want to appeal to your senses, the smells, yeah. the sights, and the textures are a big thing. You want to use different textures. We have wood, we have metal, we have straw. You know, that texture really adds warmth to your display. All right, so when people are going out now, because they got to find these pumpkins first, Bonnie. So what's your advice <laughs> when people go to the pumpkin patch to get their pumpkins for decorating? Well, you want to make sure you have fresh, ripe fruit. But that doesn't necessarily mean it has to be orange. Okay. Your pumpkins can be green and still be ripe. One of the easiest techniques is give it a slap. <laughs> and if you hear that hollow sound, it's ripe. Also, look at the stem. Is it a nice, hard st stem? If it's mushy, you wouldn't want to pick that one. Okay. And then always resist the attempt to pick it up by the stem, carry it out of the patch from underneath. You don't want to break that pretty stem off. That's right. And then also a real light piercing of your fingernail. If it dents, then it's a, then an it's ready, right? Exactly. Okay. It is right for I the picking. That. And you guys have a lot of fun events going on at the farm this month through Halloween. Tell people a little bit about it. Thank you, uh, Jenny, for inviting us for one thing. Yeah. And we invite our friends to the farm. They're going to see displays like this throughout the farm. Everywhere. And it's, it's just a beautiful sight. So while you're at the farm, besides the uh, visiting of the tour of the farm animals, yep. you get to visit the pumpkin patch, pick your own free pumpkin. Okay. You can uh, try some of these techniques that we taught you today. And go home and make this fall display and bring it home with you. That. One thing I do want to quick mention, yeah. if you're decorating your front porch and you're going to put your pumpkin on cement, put a piece of wood underneath it if there's frost. That wood will absorb that frost moisture and help keep your pumpkin fresh longer. That's a great, great tip. All right, well, Bonnie, we're going to have more information about this on our website, but you guys also have a website, too. Yes. Lots of fun farm facts. Tell people where to go. Visit us at Mulberry Lane Farm, WI.com. All right, perfect. Well, Bonnie, this looks great. I don't want to have you guys tear this down. It's so cute. Well, maybe you should keep it here right. for the fall. And you did this. They did this literally, you guys, in 20 minutes. It took them 20 minutes to do all of this. So cute. All right. Well, Bonnie, thanks for stopping by this morning. Thanks for having us. And we'll be right back.